get into the bears here because they're gonna run us a while. Something I'm very irritated about is I'm I'm sick and tired of the Mitchell Trubisky hate. All right, like we didn't lose against Miami, we didn't lose against the Patriots because of Mitchell Trubisky. And I challenge any of you, any of you that comment to us because we see it. Any of you want to come on here and talk with us? Be tell, our guest. Tell me why Mitch Trubisky is not good. Please tell me why. It's not even like it has to do with being good or bad. It has to do with these two losses we keep getting blown up about. Yeah. Well, how did he? I mean, yeah, he had two. Pit, how did he cause it? Did he cause the special teams to give up fourteen points? Because I don't think he did, Juice. Nope. I don't think he did. So that'd be something if he played special teams, though. But, but it would speak to the depth of the Bears right now, which I think is a huge problem. Critiquing the defense real quick, they have laid an absolute goddamn egg the last couple games. They have looked terrible. They have looked long. Long and winded, they've been on the field, man. That's how they look. They look tired. They look beat up. And I get it, but damn, dude, we're only you know six games through the season here. Yeah, this is. Everybody talks about how great the Bears front seven is, and it is. And it we is, were saying it, it is stacked. We, we were, were talking it. about it. But this is what happens when your front seven doesn't show up, and you have average guys on the back end at corner and safety. Everybody seems to be talking now about the lack of tackling between Eddie Jackson and Adrian Amos, the suspect corner play from Kyle Fuller and Prince Makamura. And out of all of it, the only one I can not bring into this conversation is Bryce Callahan because he's been awesome. He's been, he's, he's been one of the best nickel corners in the game. But this is what happens when your front seven doesn't get pressure. This is – and you and when you have a Vic Fangio – who doesn't want to rush more than four. That's the Bears are one of the fewest blitzing teams in the NFL. They right, rush that's crazy four. believes in that line of Akeem Hicks and Khalil right. Mack so much and then having, you know, either um, 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 um uh help me out here, man. Eddie Goldman in the uh, middle yeah, of that. And um, Blau Nichols and Nichols uh Bullard. You know, I yeah, mean B- Bullard's it, it's been just, where, I don't know, he's been not him and Goldman have been like put him on a milk cart. That's the so I mean, I, it's just they're they're all saying that a lot of this comes from it's a lot it's rooted from Khalil Mack's injury. Yeah, which, I think it's scheme. I think it's. I mean, I get it. Like he's hurt. He's got we have ankle. not seen the same Khalil Mack. Last no, we two haven't. Games but we also we haven't seen the same Khalil Mack rush the passer as frequently either. He dropped back a lot in coverage, but do you think that was because of his injury? See, that doesn't make any damn sense to me though. If I had an ankle injury, I'd be wanting to run straight upfield. Opposed to running east west against James White. And then having ju- Yeah, right. It doesn't make any it, damn sense. No, to it me. doesn't, but that is stuff that people have brought up on why he's been dropping back into coverage. You've heard it on the score this yeah, week. But it's stupid. It, it, it's, it doesn't make it, any it's sense. Dumb talk. It's it, we didn't get Khalil Mack to drop cover, him back into coverage. To cover running backs. We got him to kill the quarterback. And on Sunday you had a guy who does is, is like almost fifty, doesn't move well. Sitting there for you to take, and I get it. If he's hurt and he can't rush up the field, it's fine. But you shouldn't play. If you can't get to the quarterback, I don't care about your streak. I don't care about grit. If you're hurt, you shouldn't play. That's that's the long and the short of it. The, uh, the defense the is about as dead as this guy's about to be right now on Halloween here. Yeah, it's just. Uh, I think they showed more fight Ooh. that front line. Yeah, it, Brady had a clean pocket all day. That that was the problem, and I put that sh- that loss on the shoulder of Vic Fangio and the special teams coach, who I'm drawing a blank on here, because I miss Dave Tobe so much. It's yeah, Dave Tobe, man, Dave Tobe, he was great. It's uh, but yeah, I it's, for, it was so frustrating on Sunday because the Pats gave you every Tabor, no, no. Tabor, Chris Tabor, no. I, uh, that's the Browns, isn't it? Uh, that's Brown special team coordinator there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever, but either way, it, I, I it's, think it is actually. It's him. just it, it's funny to it is it is, it is Tabor. Huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, they just hired him this year then. Yeah. Yep. I miss Dave Tobe. Yeah, Dave Tobe is a man for sure. He's in uh, Kansas City. Yeah, he is. That's why they're damn good at everything. Special teams. You know, I was thinking to myself today, man, I was like, I would not mind to see Kansas City win a Super Bowl if we can't. You know why? Because I like Andy Reid. It's somebody different, too. I mean, if they come out and they're in the Super Bowl and it's not 
the past. Well, I mean, it was the Eagles last That's year. Different. You know. No, well, oh, the are, you Pats about, were the are you talking AMC. about the AFC? Yeah, it's always like the Pats, the the. Uh, it's always the Pats and somebody else. Pats That's what and it Steelers. Is. It's always the yeah. Pats and somebody else. That's, so it's a damn problem in this world. Yeah, it is. It is. I, but I mean, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? Against the Jets, improved. I mean, because this offense has been electric, so I can't really talk too much shit. I mean, they scored thirty-one points. You know, um, I'm looking for this defense. Me myself, I'm looking for this defense to get pressure. You know, to uh, Sam Darnold. You know, rattle his rookie cage early. Um, they, I believe, they're not going to have Powell because of his injury, so they're only going to have Crowell. Um, that's hilarious. Their, their last name. <laughs> Wow, wow, that guy dead as hell right now. All right, not dead yet. Hang on, it's coming, ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, one, and Gone. dead as hell. All right, all right. On to the next. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm hoping that, and I know that you don't blitz Tom Brady. So like blitzing last week, I could see it. You don't want to bring extra guys into the box because Tom Brady will find the open guy, and he wants to get the ball out quick anyway. So that's plays right into his hands, but Sam Darnold needs to be confused. If I'm Vic Fangio, I want I want you to confuse him. He's a rookie quarterback. Disguise packages. Throw some things at him that he's never seen before. If Vic Fangio is this great defensive mind, show it. Be crazy. I want to see some weird shit. Like, things I've never seen before. Want... I'll bring you somewhere to show you some of that shit, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, you man. Ain't, you ain't gonna lie where I bring you, but you're gonna see some weird shit. I mean, Believe it's like, me. it, it, what was that show on Comedy Central? Workaholics? Yeah, let's get weird. Like, yeah, that should be weird. like the, that should be the gif for this Sunday. As be let's you, get baby. weird. Like, I, I want the defense to be weird. I want them to be crazy. It was so great about that, like, 85 team, man. They were all nuts. Like, they belong in the same asylum. I bet you if, like, if you would put them all, like, in, like, the Joya Correctional Center out here, like, half of them would be, like, best friends in a gang. It's like, we're nuts, man. Like, you got crazy people. Now it's like, these guys are just so, like, well-spoken and, like, just be nuts. Be crazy. I just want them to be walk weird. up in there, bro. I want him to walk up in to a press conference and open hand smack the first reporter that says something stupid. Yeah, I, I want you to get crazy and, gain, and then gain a suspension. <laughs> and then when you come back from that suspension, you so goddamn hot, you ready just to rip someone's head off? That's what I want. Like That's I, right. I want to get. A, you know what? If anybody important is watching this, and you can get us press passes, I will motivate this Bears team myself. I will walk in there, talk so much shit, get my little ass whipped, and then they will go out after their suspensions for assaulting I will not press any charges <laughs> for assaulting a media member and then they once they get back on the field they'll start killing the quarterback and the running back or any wide receiver that crosses the middle that was a mouthful you good yeah I'm good <laughs> I was getting I was feeling crazy man I was just come on now I got you going there I'm yeah gonna... I want to see this team win I want to see them do good things three and three we're not out of this yet god damn it we're not out of this yet no not at all it, I mean but if we do go seven and nine I want to say one shout out one more shout out bear down 85 my hands looking a lot better than your hand is right now pal. <laughs> I uh I, I there's no reason they shouldn't be five and three though after these next two weeks I mean bills Jets. And Dude. then you got a winnable game against Detroit. Come on, like, bro, I'm not gonna say I ain't saying. You'd be six and three. I ain't saying. So win, you shit. should. They should win three in a row right here. They, they should. should be six and zero. Oh. Yeah, so you could be right up there with the Rams. You know, I mean, they should be, but it's like little mistakes. Whether it was on the offensive end, yeah, they and could it get really shows like, on the defensive end. It just shows a young, growing team. Right, they're learning how to win, and, and I that's think why that's I said a, this year that you're going to see growing pains. Everybody overreacted when they first came out. I've still stood by. I did too. I, I still say seven and nine or eight and eight. I've said that from the beginning. I've never changed my stance. I know. I've been. I said they're going to win the division a couple weeks ago. I want them to win the division, man, but I just don't see it. Kirk Cousins is. Freaking playing a phenomenal now. He is, and and you know Aaron Rodgers is healthy. He's he, also Kirk Cousins though. Like, I, wait, hey, 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 he's got. Some he's a good talent. player, but he's also like at the end of the day, he's Kirk Cousins. Like, does Kirk Cousins scare you? Like, if Kirk Cousins was Michael Myers and he took the mask off, would you be like, oh, it's Kirk Cousins? Well, is he still gonna fucking stab me? I don't know. He doesn't have that killer instinct. So you can't answer whether or not he's still gonna stab me or not. That's up in the air. Yeah, I don't. I think Kirk... Then like, I'm still scared because I still look, might get stabbed. But, but do you look at that, like, 
you, you like look at Kirk Cousins with that baby face, and you're like, oh, it's just Kirk Cousins. Like, you know, like in Scooby Doo when they like they you, take the you, they take the mask I, off and you're like, oh, it's the old prospector. No, it's just Kirk Cousins. Like, it's Kirk Cousins. I, I listen. I respect, the defense scares me, but the fact that I the matter is, is their defense has been okay. I respect your point. But still, if he's dressed up as Michael Myers with a butcher knife, and it's Kirk Cousins, okay, but he well, might complete me, the butcher me... knife throw to my chest, or he might miss it, and it might hit you instead. Right, that's a problem. That's a, ex- we both okay, die but out see, of this, this is like what I'm saying. Like if if two separate scenarios, same situation where like you get to the end and it's Michael Myers and they take the mask off. One's Kirk Cousins, and like the other is Aaron Rodgers, and you could run left or right. I'm running right at Kirk Cousins, like. That's the one, like, Aaron Rodgers straight killer, bro. That guy is, he shows, and this is a terrible analogy for how good quarterbacks are, but he, like, he just shows out week after week that, like, he'll end you, bro. Like, he did that against the Bears. <laughs> he'll end you, bro. I'm run, No, I'm running right towards Aaron Rodgers. I'm kicking him in his bum knee, and he's falling down to both of his knees. Dick joke. Oof. Full circle. Full circle. Full circle. Full circle. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, like, at the end of the day, it's Kirk Cousins. Yeah, like, I know. I know. I know what you mean, man. But he, he's playing lights. It'd out be right. like the, if you're a Packer fan and you're watching, it's Mitch Trubisky. That it'd be like, oh, it's just Mitch Trubisky. Like he might just overthrow the knife over my head. Packers fans don't watch TV. No, no, they don't. They well, sit there and yeah. they eat cheese. Lots of cheese. You, Lots you, of cheese. You're very aware of what happens in Wisconsin. Yeah, I was just there. I saw them. I spent time researching them with the. T- <laughs> <laughs> I I spent time researching them from afar. You know what I found out? You sound like a paleontologist. That's... Every time they walk, they crack the ground, and when Oof. the when the ground cracks, they just reach in with their hands, and that's more why all cheese the streets, comes out. That's why all the streets in Green Bay are gravel. Yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. But yeah, looking for the Jets this week. The defense to improve, the offense to stay exactly doing what they're doing. Uh, Mitch has been playing great. I know that the twenty six for fifty is not sexy, but it was three hundred thirty three yards, six carries for eighty one yards. He accounted for three touchdowns. He did have two picks, but this kid is still on pace for a thirty five yard touchdown year here. And uh, you know he he's playing good football. Um, I cannot you know Trey Burton came out to shine. 11 targets, 9 receptions. Uh, he played real well. Um, you know, Tariq Cohen, he played well as well. He was not as effective as we would like. Uh, same with Jordan Howard again. But I do feel that the offense is where they're getting where they need to be. I just I think that this defense, there might be some underlying things here. I think they might be a little bit more hurt than we think or something's going on. Um, but that's what I want to see improve. I think that this should be an easy win against the Jets. They should go in there, beat the Jets, and then kick Fireman Fireman Ed's ass too, while they're there. Oh wait, no, they're in Chicago. Yeah, my mistake. Yeah, we sold the game. That's why we didn't know. Or, that. or we'll just like the Bears will win, and then they'll just go fly and beat up Fireman Ed anyway. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, that's yeah. not bad. I got you. I got you. Fireman Ed's an idiot. Yeah, nobody on the Jets likes that guy. Douchebag. Yeah, nobody in in New York should like him anyway, and that's that's saying. Oh, something. New York sucks. If people anyway. in New York don't like you, like that's like, that's like a real that's a real knock on your personality. Go to Sports Mockery for Chicago sports news and commentary from those who know it best, the fans.